This video will speak about martial arts versus survival training. Um, the more I think about it, I feel that it's almost necessary for me to start using different types of labels to express what I do that's uh, making a clear distinction and the difference between what I do and what people are associating with the martial arts. Um, people are associating combat sport with the martial arts, but that's clearly not what I do. Um, I'm not a boxer, I'm not a wrestler, I'm not a cage fighter. I don't fight for competition. I don't go to Taekwondo tournaments or Wing Chun tournaments or Chole Fut tournaments or Wushu tournaments. I don't go to any tournaments. That's not what I do. Um, but if people are associating uh, martial arts with those tournaments, then that's clearly not what I do. And to say that I practice martial arts, it's, it's like bunching me and grouping me with all those people that do that when that's not what I do. So for me to use that label, it's, it's not correct. Um, I feel that I am an artist, but to label myself as a martial artist is just going to confuse people. Um, I don't act in movies. Bruce Lee was acting in movies, expressing his way, and he was considered a martial artist. But I don't do that either. Um, um, I do do a lot of fitness training. I love fitness. I do combat training, but it's more survival based more than anything. Um, so I do like survival training. Um, and I do firearms training, and I do preparation for situations that might inc you know I might encounter in the streets and maybe that's not martial arts cuz maybe people are associating martial arts with things that are not really truly practical and effective for modern day it's more of something where you just demonstrate something that is artful you know like but not necessarily practical, like somebody that's using nunchucks, you know, or a bow staff, you know, those those weapons are not really practical for modern day, so people might, you know, demonstrate with those weapons, and then people might say that that's martial arts, but somebody that's holding a gun and shooting the gun, that's not really considered martial arts, because that could be just considered, you know, could be considered just straight self-defense or straight violence. Um... So, if I'm, you know, if I label what I do more survival training, which it is, then it's going to be more of an accurate thing to kind of differentiate what I do and what I teach opposed to what's out there right now currently. Um, I think that that is something that I, I, I want to kind of want to put my energies towards, you know, just to, to really create a separation between survival and martial arts. You know, survival is for, it's not for competitiveness, competitive, you know, competition. It's just basically training yourself to be aware, training yourself to be capable, training yourself to be fit, in which to survive deadly encounters. You know, and a lot of times these deadly encounters will incorporate the use of firearms or other sorts of weapons. And it's just training to learn how to survive that. You know, and training for health. Um, so I think I wanna kinda head towards more of like a Kung Fu, promoting Kung Fu you know, being a Kung Fu artist, survival type of training, you know. And I think it's important to create that separation, you know. Without that separation, it creates a lot of confusion. So, we have all these different sports for a reason. Um, there's a difference between boxing and wrestling, and there's a difference between cage fighting and boxing. Um, and there's a difference between Taekwondo point sparring and like karate point sparring. There's a difference between like Kendo 
and then kendo tournaments and judo tournaments. You know, there's all these differences, and these differences, you know, create more like of a separation in which to help people understand that everything is not the same. You know, so what I practice is not going to be the same as what people associate to be martial arts. It's survival based. You know. It's not for competition. You know, we don't go to tournaments. You know, I don't promote that. And, um, you know, something needs to be clearly redefined. Something that's different. And you see that these countries, like China had their expression, and then Japan, you know, learn from China, but then they're like, you know, we got to create something that's different and call it something different. And then Korea would create their own way and call it something different. And then America created their own sport, call it something different. So it's important that as you make these changes, you call it something different. You don't call it the same thing because you call it the same thing creates a lot of confusion in the people, you know, but in my method of training, it has to incorporate the use of firearms and the defensive get against firearms, um, that's what keeps it realistic, that's what keeps it practical for modern day, it's a lot of awareness training so so that's what I want to put out there in the, to the public you know I'm using a lot of different training tools you know Punching bag, focus mitts, wooden dummy. You know, we do sparring, but we have our own way of sparring. We don't use equipment when we spar. That's an important aspect of what we do. Um, we use, but we use um, training knives. We use training guns. We use airsoft guns, BB guns. We use nunchucks. We use bull staff, we use sticks, we use batons, we use, you know, almost any weapon that we could get our hands on, we'll use. We'll learn how to use. Throwing knives, throwing stars, brass knuckles. We use um, weight training equipment. We might go to the firing range and train with real guns. I mean, it's a very versatile training, but the focus as far as the combative aspect is focused on survival, more so than art. Because art is more like a demonstration, you know, where this is not really for demonstration, you know. It can be used for demonstration, but it's not really for that. It's more like, hey, you know, these are the techniques that are mainly for survival. And... A very important aspect is we don't compete. We don't go to tournaments. We 
We train for self-preservation. We train for health. We train because we enjoy training. So trying to express this art, which is different, it's kind of hard to get people to understand because it's something that's not out there. Not even Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do is the same as what I do. You know, and um, it's important to create different labels to communicate to the public that what I'm training in and what I practice is not the same as what people are used to out there. You know, so the label, Freddy's Modern Kung Fu, Kung Fu, survival training. I might even use the word Wushu, which is basically martial arts in Chinese. So it's up to me to either redefine certain labels that are being used or to create a new label in which to formulate a new understanding of what that label is supposed to represent. But yeah, that's, um, that's what I see.